So a colonoscopy is the best test to look at the bowel and it involves examining the bowel with a flexible camera or telescope. It can help to diagnose the variety of different conditions such as polyps, early cancers and it can even reassure us if the bowel is normal but pick up inflammation, inflammatory bowel disease, hemorrhoids, diverticular disease. It's a very important first step in identifying conditions and treating them. A colonoscopy is uh, extremely important and is the most accurate way of looking at the colon and in, in general terms it's used in two situations. It's used if patients have a new onset of symptoms such as bleeding, diarrhea, constipation or both and some pain and it can also be used in asymptomatic patients as a very valuable screening test for early detection of polyps and cancers and polyps if they're removed can stop uh, progression to cancer and the earlier any cancer is detected the earlier you can give treatment. So the procedure itself takes about half an hour sometimes a little less sometimes a little bit more. Probably the uh, worst part of the test is taking the bowel preparation the day before which clears the bowel out but it's a very valuable um, time when um, the bowel is cleared properly and so we can see things properly. Most patients do find the procedure very comfortable and um, we're also able to do this under a sedative. Some patients want to have virtually no sedative so they're awake but some patients also want to be quite sleepy and not know a lot about it. Unfortunately the sedation we use we can uh, tailor this according to the patient. Recovery times pretty quick and most patients are actually fairly awake at the end of the procedure and so by the time they go back to their room they are already um, able to talk and sit up and most patients go home normally within an hour and sometimes a couple of hours. The overall time from arriving at the hospital to leaving is only about two or three hours in most, most instances and very rarely longer. 